<laughs> oh man. So this is the cowboy egg chicken. Sarah, what'd you get? We got a club with bacon and chicken and lettuce and tomato. With some hot sauce. Happy Monday. And it is Happy Monday, because Happy Mondays, Happy Mondays are, days are a thing, sometimes. And if you couldn't tell, it's a crazy day at the start of a crazy vlog, because we got up super early, because Sarah had a seven o'clock appointment to get her beta test, which is just to tell us whether or not that embryo is sticking around to come enjoy this life with us. And also, James had speech at 8.30, so there wasn't enough time to go home in between. So we went to breakfast. That's so we, what all the clips you saw. Um, we did do something different this time. Fourth embryo transfer, we did something for the first time with this transfer. And that was test at home beforehand. Which is not advised by your doctors usually because it's just like a mental game because nothing, you don't know if that's like a mix of hormones from the shots. You never know the, the like strength of the... Like the embryo transfer, this beta test is like the true blue blood test. There's before, a number. We've tested positive before. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. We've been getting stronger and stronger positives yeah. the past like five days. Yeah. So that is incredible. And that our pur our purpose for that was to relieve some of the pressure from today. It's a little different having to like take care of two littlies. I didn't like, take off work today because I've been I took off on like yeah. Friday and the week before we took a bunch of time off. So our past transfers, I've taken this day off. Right, and so we just like protected ourselves a little bit. Our relationship with pregnancy tests are a little bit different now, um, as far as like the beginning of our IVF journey compared to today. And so we're just waiting for a call we, now. Yeah, so we were brave <laughs> earlier this week, um, but again, you always have to hit that next benchmark. And so today is we need a number over one hundred because. Anything over zero gives you a positive test at home. Yes. Um, like but, Peter said, we feel good because our tests have gotten progressively darker, mm -hmm. which is a good sign. But we need a big number. And I'm hoping that they call before two because I'm kind of on like a, a, I'm in, lunch. A, meet, a meeting gap or lunch time right now for the next hour. Then I've got a 30 minute meeting and then I've got like another 30 or 40 minutes after that before like I go into meetings for the rest of the day. So it would be lovely if I was not in the meeting when Sarah gets the call. Why do you think Evers? Why do you think Evers? I just want some rubbing. One hour later. This is... I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I was just calling with your results. Do you have a minute? I do. Super, my love. Yay! Thank you. magical day what a weird day what an utterly emotionally roller coaster epic of a day first of all it's Monday second of all we didn't get to go to bed till late third of all we had to wake up really early fourth of all we had a blood test for a beta test whirlwind what is it 2019 uh, went out to eat that was fun speech therapy that was awesome back home meetings all day while anxiety waiting for a phone call that was a life-changing wonderful stupendous phone call into more meetings immediately after to being like time warped into like a numb state at five o'clock when you're supposed to get in your car and go to Epcot because you miss and love Epcot dearly but life is life and busy is busy and kids are kids to come downstairs to find out that you're you're I don't know at what age are you not a toddler and you're just a little kid my big little kid just fell asleep on Sarah on the couch right around the time that Teddy was supposed to go on for another nap, and James was supposed to, should have gone on a nap earlier, but he didn't fall asleep 
So he does now, and there's a difference between a child who falls asleep in the car on the way to Disney World, getting into a stroller to stroller nap, versus taking a sleeping child out of their comfortable home, shoving them in the car, getting them out of the car into the stroller, and then into the park. So it's looking like our celebratory night at Epcot will have to be delayed because our kids are our whole world, if you guys haven't realized that by now in the Brookhart Project. And it looks like we're just going to celebrate at home. I told Sarah, I don't want to clean up a toy. I don't want to clean up a dish. Let's just kind of have fun and celebrate, even if it is just hanging around our beautiful, cozy home. We actually, Sarah, I don't know if she vlogged it yesterday, but got a bunch of other fall decorations at Target and Pop Shelf. So like maybe we'll do some of that, or maybe we'll just sit around. Maybe we should watch old vlogs of our IVF journey and our fertility journey and the births of our children vlogs and... I don't know, but either way, I can't wait till Sarah comes back down from putting Teddy down. And for a brief moment, I can just squeeze my best friend and celebrate that she has another one of our babies cooking away. And it's gonna be a fun life. So we realized that we did not vlog after the call from the fertility clinic yesterday. Why were you just scratching the couch? <laughs> Oh gosh, she's getting comfy. So if for whatever reason you didn't hear or it wasn't like explained well enough, um, our beta number for our pregnancy test was 473. Our clinic likes you to have anything above 100. Um, so they were very pleased with my number. And then I'll go back tomorrow, Wednesday, to make sure that it's doubled. That's like the true important part. You want the the number um of like the level of hcg in your blood to show that things are you know going as as hoped so that's our exciting news sorry evie needed water but yeah we're thrilled with that number we're feeling very fortunate excited we were actually <laughs> We all ended up taking a really late nap last night. We were gonna go to Epcot to celebrate. Um, but everyone took a nap, and James ended up waking up at like nine. Our nightly routine was a little off. So anyways, we're gonna go to Epcot tonight. Relish in these days. Obviously, again, um, tomorrow we have the other test, and we have to, you know, you get anxious and you worried. Every milestone that comes with the process of like, getting the positive pregnancy test, having the lines progress darker, um, getting your positive beta, it doubling ultrasound, you know, like all those things. So um, the nerves are still gonna be a little high. I mean, they're high until the baby arrives. They're high the rest of the baby's life, um, really. But just a little bit extra heightened this week. Um, so we're gonna go to Epcot. Uh, and I'm going to share a little bit. I don't think we've shared how we've been doing little themes for our weeks lately. Wow, I have a marker on my face. Um, to kind of like help with Jamesy's like speech and just overall like pseudo like two year old um, school. So yeah, I'll show you. I'll I'll chat a little bit about that and show you um, what we did this morning. Our theme this week is ocean. So while we're playing and Teddy's snoozing. We've had this like aquarium ambience on with the Nemo soundtrack, which I've said a gazillion times on here is really near and dear to our hearts. So I've been in our fields today with this on in the background. So today I had just like cut out all these little sea creatures and then Jamesy was lining them up, making little smiley faces on them. And so then throughout the week, we will watch ocean movies, have ocean, like there's so many different Disney, like nature documentaries, um, songs on YouTube, kind of focus on ocean vocabulary. And that's kind of like how we've been trying to help. Yeah, let's go upstairs, let's go upstairs. Um, how we've been trying to like really help Jamesy broaden his vocabulary and his just overall understanding and experience. Our biggest hurdle right now with his speech is that he is not very comfortable with other adults and um, we're, we have worked on that and we've made great progress. He's really loving his um, speech therapist that he goes to twice a week. He really does love the person from early steps that comes to, but that 
really that focus is a parent coaching model so mostly like they're talking to me about things to do but this way we're doing this so that when he because he is hesitant with the professional that we're doing all that we can at home wow i don't remember what i last said in the last clip but basically jamesy isn't like He's still getting comfortable with the professionals, and so we're gonna do everything we can to help him. See all those fishies? Fish. So basically, by having a theme, we can focus on some words and some structured learning, and this is a part of our day, a little field trip. We haven't seen this yet. Sing it. Food line, food line. Everybody loves. My mind's spinning because like we've been so crazy these past two weeks. We haven't been giving food and wine out while we've been the Epcot enough vlog. We have been talking about things to come on the vlog so we've had a crazy week where she's pregnant. I just got like hit with a bunch of emotions. <laughs> so there is a very fun cast event that makes me think Something could be opening soon. It looks like they're doing cast previews of what is this called? Celebration of Water, Moana City. Something like that. Something like that. But it's it's nearly complete. You can see when you're on the monorail how it's like almost done. But they're doing cast previews. Did you explain the theme of the week? I did. And so here we are, entering the seas with Nemo and friends from Disney's Pixar's Finding Nemo. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa! You ready for some turtles? What if Nemo's swimming out the sea? Oh, don't worry. Just keep your eyes open for him along the way. Nemo! Oh, Nemo! Oh, Nemo! Oh, Nemo! Oh, Nemo! Oh, Nemo! Oh, Nemo! So cool. Turtle. Shark. Whoa. Do you hear yourself echo? We ran up the stairs and went right to that dolphin. It was crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I am headed into the land solo. Soren is a 15 minute wait. We were thinking about the logistics of like doing the child swap. It's a really quick wait. Um, we we're just thinking because there's no, no strollers allowed in here and it's a lot to kind of like get the boys in and out. Um, and yeah, because like we don't have a ton of time here today, like only two hours really, we got here like pretty close to seven. Um, Peter is gonna go and look for the Starbucks Epcot cup that he wants. And I'm just gonna go on Soren. Change of plans, James uh, got so happy walking past Figment that we just had to. So mommy's gonna go, <laughs> oh yeah, you see Figment? Mommy's gonna go on Soren, and we're gonna enjoy the Imagination Institute with the longest line I've seen in a while. Ooh. Hello, on your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Go, oh, go, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, cookie, cookie, go, and taste. Taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's, let's get back to the Institute. I know a shortcut. Whoa. 
Oh. And then I think we're going back. Say hi. Hi. What are you doing? Checking out that wall? Oh, James knocked into the wall. Are you okay? All right, so there were some delays in the queue at Sarah's and so on, but she's still, oh, she's almost on it. There's some weird vibes going on because like the sun is setting, but there's like storms coming, but it's dark, but it's still sunny. Spaceship Earth is lit. So we're just soaking it in. Okay, I, the food and wine Dooney. I'm actually, I'm a big fan of this, especially this one. Sarah has to check that out. That might be, that might be coming home with us. No cup. I do think though, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back eventually. Spectacular can be experienced from all around the World Showcase Lagoon. Is there a better time to walk into World Showcase than when the candles light? Donna, Donna, na 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 na. It's a troll. Look, I'm a little nervous. Norway's looking empty. Sarah's getting off Soren, and it says it's a 45 minute wait, but I don't. Not seen a lot of bodies walk in there. I don't know. On behalf of our entire flight team, thanks for soaring with us. We got like 15 minutes till showtime, but we can't come to World Showcase anymore without going into the Mexico Pavilion. We love the ride, we love the pavilion, we love the Dilo de los Muertos. And he's a Dilo de los Muertos baby. So he's ready. Right. Uh, Mom's back. Always oh, longer than a 13 minute wait, but always worth it. Whatever, whatever you wait. I've waited for three hours for so hard once. Yeah, so that's still good. You get the vibes. And we just got, we just got our own boat. That's never happened before, I don't think. What's the duck say? Are we gonna find Dado? What's the duck you said? Bye. Uh oh. There's no music. <laughs> Why is there no music? <laughs> There's, the music is up there. <laughs> it was so weird, it was like just the talk track. He's ready for the fireworks. Ooh, he's ready for the fireworks. He's ready for the fireworks, Teddy. Come on! The fireworks! Shoulder look. We had to show you just how far back we parked. That's the road. 
That is Spaceship Earth. So this is like literally the end of the parking lot. And that is our minivan all the way over there. We got here like just before 7 p.m. and they were still taking no prisoners in this parking lot. Usually if you get here late enough, there's there's no attendance. You can park wherever you want. Boy, a big old but yeah, this was this was our parking spot. Okay. Sarah from the future here. Um, we have really not been going out or vlogging this week. Um, we had a busy week with Peter in the office for work, um, as well as just a lot of different like pediatrician appointments and speech and um, actually our first ultrasound for the baby. So um, you'll have just seen that my beta was 864 for the second round. Um, it did increase by like, I think it was like 83% and our clinic wants anything above a 60% increase. And so we had a little bit of anxiety because it didn't double as we've seen in the past. Um, you kind of hear that like, make sure your beta doubles, but it's really, um, as long as it's increasing and like we said before, just like showing the progress and our progress was exactly, they. Our clinic had no qualms with that number. Um, and then a week later on Wednesday of this week, which was the 23rd, um, we had our ultrasound and it showed the baby um, measuring right on track. So like the baby's super, super tiny right now. So it was really more so about the placement and the sack and everything looked fabulous. So we'll go back in two weeks see a heartbeat and see if we're going to graduate then from our clinic. Um, so it's been a big week. We are going to be making some changes to how we post, um, but that will be a video that Peter and I are going to record and post separately um, just to kind of, you know, mold and mend to our life right now. Um, so Peter mentioned a little bit earlier in the vlog and you will get more details on that soon and actually a little bit more active. Um, an Instagram social media side of things. Um, but like I said, we'll, we'll explain all of that very soon. Thank you so much for cheering us on during these betas. Um, such an emotional roller coaster, but just so, so grateful to be here, keeping up my progesterone and oil shots um, and just doing the next right thing as always. So um, I'll say with this vlog, it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>